To create some newsprint underglaze transfers, you need to start with some underglazes, some paintbrushes, and some newsprint. Remember when you shake your underglaze to hold on to the cap. Today my design has two colors. I'm going to start with the black first, and then I will allow that to dry, and then I'll come back in with my second color of underglaze. I've given it some time to dry, and as you can see, most of them look dry except for that one little bit that looks a little wet, so I'll be real careful about that one. But make sure you try to let it all dry. As you lay down your glaze, you'd like to try to make it a thickish layer. You don't want to spread it out and make it too thin or else it won't transfer well. If you notice how shiny these are, these are obviously wet. Once they dry, they'll look uh, matte finish like these. But my designs are dry, I'm ready to transfer them like a temporary tattoo. I have some water and my pot that I've already transferred some to. Once you figure out where you're going to apply your design, take your design and I like to dip it in the water just a little bit, just to saturate the newsprint and the underglaze. Then I'll just carefully press it on to my pot with my fingers. Sometimes you'll need to rub it a little bit. Then you wanna carefully peel back your newsprint to show your design. Now, as you carefully pull it back, you may realize that some of the underglaze didn't transfer well, so you can lay it right back down and apply a little bit more pressure. You may also need to apply a little bit more water as well. Um, and then you'll get the rest of it to lay down. But this is an imperfect process and you may get some underglaze that just doesn't want to release from the newsprint and you just have to go with that happy accident. This is just another design on a different vessel that I've done as well. Um, here I used a sponge to apply some pressure and it didn't work quite as well, but I just wanted to show you that it is also a possibility to use a sponge. And this design also gave me a little trouble too and I had to go back and forth a few times to apply some pressure and some more water. Um, just so you can see that, that happy accidents can happen and still produce a decent result. Both of these pieces will be now left to dry completely and bisque fired. They'll then have a clear overglaze applied and refired in a glaze firing.